I'm sorry, Your Honor. I have no idea what she's talking about. I am talking about the children's stepfather. Blair's husband. Her husband? Hmm. Who the hell is her husband? That'd be me. I'm Blair's husband, Your Honor. <laughs> the kid's stepfather. <laughs> no way in hell did she marry you. We forgot to throw rice yesterday. <laughs> Mama, there's no need for that. Every bride and groom needs a little good luck. Why should Mr. and Mrs. John McBain be any different? <laughs> I'm a married one. So you keep saying. Where is this lucky man of yours? He's in L.A. Pursuing his other passion. Yeah. If I was your husband, you would be my only passion. Exhibit A, Your Honor. Marriage license. Exhibit B, a marriage certificate signed by an ordained minister. And I have witnesses, Your Honor. I myself was present, as was Mr. Manning's daughter, Star. Lovely ceremony, wasn't it? The best. Your Honor, Miss Manning only was recently recovering from a medically induced coma. It's Mrs. McBain, Your Honor. She was in no position to make uh, life-altering decisions. The, 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 the potential for abuse, for coercion. Exhibit C. A sworn statement signed by two psychiatrists attesting to Blair's sound state of mind. <clears throat> the documents appear to be in order. The marriage apparently took place yesterday in Mrs. McBain's hospital. <laughs> Which makes one wonder, Your Honor, why the rush? The timing is suspect. You and I have crossed paths before, Mr. McBain. As I recall, you had lost faith in the system and had decided to take matters into your own hands. Is this hasty marriage another attempt to circumvent justice? Are you and Blair Manning McBain conspiring to deny her ex-husband custody of his children? John only married me so I could keep the kids. There's more to it than that. No, we had a good run. And we cared about each other. I mean, we still care about each other. But the point is, just for me to get strong, get back home so I can take care of the kids. John is still in love with Marty Saybrook. Hello. Oh, hi, David. No, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm calm. I've never been calmer in my life. <sighs> Apparently, John was uh, on to me. Well, he was on Tess. Um, I don't remember, but uh, well, he thought, questioned me. Integration was supposed to pull all those memories together. Well, I'm getting them back piecemeal. Uh, they'll all come back in time. The, the point is, John would have done anything to find you. I mean, they had to put him in jail to keep him from going after Todd. I, he lost his badge trying to save you. So, I don't even remember what you had with him, but I'm telling you, it was really serious. Your Honor, everybody loves Blair. That's not the point. The point is that he married her to get back at me, to keep me from my kids. And it was her idea, certainly. I beg your pardon? She married me so I could get custody, and now she's pulling the same thing. I just hope the judge doesn't question our motives. Why would he? You obviously love each other. I'll be representing you against Todd. <laughs> Thank heaven. <laughs> Can we win? Absolutely. And I know exactly how we're going to do that. Mama, you are an incurable romantic, and that's wonderful. But the fact is, John never would have married me if Todd weren't suing for custody of the kids. If Todd goes for temporary custody now, you know he will fight for full custody later. Guaranteed. Todd claims that the children need a parent on board while Blair is recuperating. 
We give the children a father. He has no case. Oh, well, that's just lovely. Now, how precisely do you plan on doing that, Taya? I'll tell you, Blair. It's not how, but who. You need a stand-up guy, a real hero. Someone you know and trust, and who knows and cares about the kids. John? Hmm. Will you marry Blair? proposed to John? Your Honor, Mr. Manning just admitted in open court that he only married me to keep Star Manning, his daughter, away from her mother, Blair McBain. Yes, I have a canceled check to prove it. Your Honor, I ask you, what kind of father would boast about committing fraud? My point is that she's stealing a page from my book. I love that man, Your Honor. That is why I married him. Look at me. Are you saying you didn't love me? No, no, honey, I'm, I'm, uh, not distracted. Not at all. I'm, 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 uh, I'm hanging on your every word. How did the audition go? Oh, I see. I'm so sorry, darling. Uh, they obviously have no taste, do they? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, yeah, um, it was very, you're right, I, I am in, uh, very excited about how things are going for Blair and the, the children, and, but I don't have time to talk to you about it, not right now, because I'm very busy, yes, I, I'm babysitting Blair's boys, right, right, okay, yeah. You gotta go, but bye-bye. You are a world-class liar. Our marriage had nothing to do with love. Maybe not for you, but I loved you. I still remember that very clearly. And just because you were cynical doesn't give you the right to accuse me or John or anyone else of misrepresentation. Okay, 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 counselor. It's a very, very pretty speech, but the fact remains, Blair Manning only chose to marry John McBain after she was served with papers, letting her know that my client was seeking temporary custody. Todd Manning has every right to be cynical. I agree, Mr. Guthrie. This marriage is about one thing, Mama, and that's keeping your grandkids away from Todd Manning. You marry Blair, and Todd loses his leverage. It's not as if the two of you are strangers. You two have a legitimate relationship. Come on, why not don't marry worry, Blair? Stop it! Just leave him alone, please, and get out of here. I'm sorry, honey. Well, don't say I'm controlling, but this get is a out great of here. idea. You two talk no, it over, boy. okay? Yes, talk Stop. it over. <laughs> but Blair, the patient. please don't make it any more complicated get than out. already. So no one even mentioned the word love? Your Honor, may I say something? Only if it's pertinent, Mr. McBain. Yeah, I think it is. Um, you know, they're saying the timing of all this stinks, and they're right. It's not the way I would have done it if I had the choice, but sometimes you don't, Your Honor. When Blair was attacked and she almost died, seeing her there in that ICU, let's just say, I realized how important she was to me. Oh, God, what a load of... Your Honor, he married her so she could take away my kids. Are you admitting collusion, Mr. McBain? Absolutely not, Your Honor. Do you love your wife, Mr. McBain? Yes, I do, very much. 